Hey guys, I'm back, uh, third year in the row with Steve Sinclair uh, of Warframe, and I gotta start off by asking you one question. Okay, right. okay I've been wondering this right. a lot. After my coverage of E3, how much did they pay you to do the flute performance yeah. over there at uh, well, Sony? And what level mastery are you with? <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, yes. <laughs> That was, uh, I have a doppelganger. The number of people that were uh, tweeting, oh, it looks like Steve, and then I changed yeah. my profile picture to it. Yeah, your Twitter, profile picture. And right. then people were like, wait, it, it is him? Wow, your yeah. flute skills are quite amazing. Yeah, yeah. No, that There's guy's an awesome. There's in there. <laughs> the flute guy is awesome. He's yeah. like a master in in flute. Oh, yeah, he's but, seriously uh, good. You were busy working on what we saw here sure. today. That's right. Which was freaking amazing. Okay, yes. But I do want to go back one year when you first yes, revealed yes. the Planes of Eidolon. Planes of Eidolon, yes. H how did that do? Well, for Warframe, uh, it has given it a new lease on life, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're a PvE-focused game. Uh, we have PvP-focused, uh, you know, we have PvP modes, but uh, we need to bring new, new blood, content, new life. It, it just has, the game changes and evolves. Uh, we're here at TennoCon 3. And I meet players that have been playing since, uh, you know, 2013. Why still playing, right? It's because the game keeps changing, yeah. right? And I get some people who are like, yeah, so the game was really bad when I first played it. And, <laughs> and I'm sort of, okay. Was that there, open a, beta? Is there a, <laughs> is there a closed beta here? Yeah. But yeah, it, it really, it showed that, you know, they stuck with us and we stuck with it. And we continued to try, you know, to avoid resting our laurels, right? Yeah. You don't want to just be like the weapon factory we're like here's new gun here's new gun here's new gun so it did great for us what was crazy about it was the huge boost in signups yeah and concurrency and number of people playing before it came out yeah i had a guy it come up to wasn't me i was even out oh yeah and, and people were crazy <laughs> we're about warframe yeah, yeah i had a guy come up to me and say oh, i saw your video on planes of idol oh, you actually got me here and he had flew all the way out from australia Get the hell. so yeah this it's definitely yeah. bringing new people in that's and right what we just saw i think is going to bring even more people oh, in. man wouldn't okay? that be great yeah i am crazy yeah. about space battles <laughs> so i am so <laughs> yeah, happy cool. that we are exploring this yes, particular yes, area yes. of warframe right it's right. rich. It has potential. Yep. It does. Can you talk a little bit about this code name? Uh, what was it again? Railjack. Railjack. That's Is that going to be the final name? You're going to change that to you something? You know, I don't know. You, you, that's a conversation we yeah. have with a lot of our people. Is that the final name? <laughs> Railjack. That's... Because that gives you the, it's going to be on rails. Please tell me it's not on Exactly. Rails. And it isn't on rails okay. at all. Uh, and the demo has uh, Rebecca flying the ship kind of poorly at times and maybe <laughs> colliding with a few things. Ooh, Rebecca's yeah. going to be mad. Yeah, she's going to no. be mad. Uh, no, the, uh, when we did the landscapes, and of course, uh, a big part of this big update uh, this year is going to be Fortuna and the Orb Vallis, which is this huge, even larger than Planes of Eidolon, uh, Venus landscape. Oh, and my New God. culture. A uh, very amazing. Blade Runner kind of really interesting, you know, debt internment camp. Uh, and so you don't want to just take Planes of Eidolon and all the systems you introduced and say, okay, what are we doing next? So that's part of the theme of why we're saying, what are the things that we learned? What can we do better? What can we do differently? Uh, however, uh, we really, really pride ourselves on taking chances with Warframe. And so at the end of the demo, yes. when you think it's over, the bombardment from space happens again, and it's like, is there anything we can do about this? Yes. And down comes the frickin' ship, <laughs> and it yeah. picks you up, and you're on there with your team. You hit the launch button seamlessly out through the atmosphere of Venus, and you rise up into this kind of like strange Oricon space field with these giant kind of nodes that used to form the planetary defense grid around the planet. You've got... Uh, things like an FTL, like engineering controls, you can route power, you can do tactical things. Uh, and it's that an attempt so cool. to say... It's like Star Trek. It is, it is. It, no, it is, it is. Yeah. it is. It has a bit of Star Trek, it has a bit of FTL, but it has a whole lot of Warframe. Uh, I'm an old guy, so I like like Battle of the Planets and, and like Last Starfighter. So the ship isn't really like that. <laughs> I know, I know, right, exactly. I think there might be a remake coming. Yeah, we'll I saw some concept art yeah. and I was very excited. Uh, so the ship is um, the ship is not like a space sim. You know, you think about oh, I love space sims. A lot of them, if you if you squint and look, you see that little ship flying, mm -hmm. and you see the triangle around it, and you're shooting at the little right. marker that yeah. they've added because you can't figure out how to lead a target, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> it's not like that in okay. Railjack. Railjack is 
the ships have crazy abilities. Remember Death Blossom yes. in the last Starfighter? So yes. there's like the Helix Missile Array and all this kind of crazy stuff. There's a fire shield like in ba Battle of the Planets. All of this, though, is taking place in this kind of shared combat space. There's a Corpus ship there, you know, like a capital ship launching fighters at you, but it's not just like, it's not just like a mesh of a ship. There's the actual level of the game, mm -hmm. like people, players have been playing for years inside that thing right now. And so when they get close enough, they deploy a Mega Note and Arcwing, she flies over, dodging through the missiles, lands on it, and now she's playing the Warframe that people know. Yes. Meanwhile, Rebecca's back on the ship, like hacking the turrets to shoot turn them against them. She's got her mini-map, she's tracking Meg, and it's like, kind of like that moment in Aliens, right? Where like, Gorman's like, looking at the people, right? And That's my heart right I know, there. And, and <laughs> so my heart too, and so, uh, I'll show you actually, before you leave, we have a poster from uh, a version of Dark Sector, you know the studio history, yes. and we tried to get this really wacky, aggressive sci-fi game called Dark Sector Meg, that was the idea. A, a small boarding party of really overpowered co-op players, working together, flying a ship, and taking on giant capital ships mm -hmm. and destroying them from within. And that's what we're doing now. And I'm glad. I'm glad for it. It fits yep. right into the world. It's not exactly. something like Battle Royale mode. No, no, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. That would have been so I funny. Know, I know. But I did skip ahead just because I'm so excited about space stuff. Yeah, no, that's, do it. That's do in, it. The, yeah. in the far future what, yeah. what we saw there yeah. with the, the crawling spider-like yeah, 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 creatures. Man, yeah, Let's talk yeah. about this new area on sure. Venus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, how, like, how big is it? Can, what, can, what can we expect over there? Yeah. We still have spear fishing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we still, we still have uh, spear fishing. Uh, it's different this time because, uh, of course, if you know anything about, uh, you know, high school planets, you know, the study planets, Venus is like a furnace right mm -hmm. now, right? Uh, and so the, our story is that the ancient race that came before the town of the Orican, uh, they tried to basically change the planet from within by cooling it down. Mm -hmm. And so there's all of these, there's like this winter storm that the players kind of open, they, they come out of the elevator and they're like, what the hell? Like I'm expecting like lava and, a, and like a desert wasteland and it's a it's winter storm. Hell, yeah. It's cold as hell. And so the reason for that is this kind of viscous fluid that's flowing through the landscape that's cooling it off. And within that, there's like these kind of strange robotic fish. So like I said, kind of like you don't just take the mechanics that you taught them and throw them out, but you want to cast a new light on them. You want to twist them. Uh, the thing and, I'm really excited about is and the, adding to it and adding to with it with a new the animal thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. hell yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is really cool because <laughs> it's like nyeh, 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 you know, mimicking the animals. Yeah. So yeah, can you imagine like the design process is like me like watching this like six year old dude like here's how you make a moose call. <laughs> you know, he's doing all this stuff where he's like, and here's here's a moose in heat. <laughs> you know, and I was watching this and like, I don't know why, but we need that in Warframe. So you be, did it. Yeah, exactly. So we're no, the real question yeah. is, can we do those calls outside of that little mo to annoy our friends? Yes, of oh course. Oh, my God. Yeah. So the idea would be, <laughs> you, be awesome. you, know, you destroy the, the, the orb, right? The giant, uh, you know, sort of sentient spider. It's not sentient. It's yeah. like a, it's kind of self semi self-aware. You destroy the spider and then everyone just gets out there. Animal lures <laughs> yeah. and it just starts annoying each other. Well, it's cool because yeah. it's yeah. just something different. It's a break yeah. from all the murdering, maiming, and yeah. killing. Right? Exactly, and I think that's why we did fishing, which was hugely successful for the mm -hmm. game. We had so many people playing that, uh, and you know, we did the mining. There's kind of like peaceful pastimes. Like, yeah, we have these players I like playing this. for years, and, like more and they're just like, hey, let's can I have a mode where I just chill out? Yeah, and just explore the world. Now, yeah. as far as those bosses that are, mm -hmm. that are moving around, crawling yeah. around yeah. terrain, I hadn't yeah. seen anything like that before yeah. except for yeah. some of the things that we saw in Plains of Idaho. Right. Yeah. But I'm, I'm wondering, are we going to get some challenges mm. with these massive creatures? Right, right. Is that big mama one going to yeah. be hard to take down? Because right. Dell over here is an expert yeah. thousands of hours, yeah. Yeah. and he yeah. shows He's me like one -shot how, him. Right, yeah. how yeah. to take yeah. it down That's in right. five seconds or less. Yeah. Can we be guaranteed a different <laughs> sort of game flow to taking this thing down? Yeah, so, the, so obviously, um, you know, talking about going back to the open world stuff and saying, what are the lessons learned? So that's a big one, which is to say, we wanted to say these en enemies only come out at night, so it requires a specific loadout. But yeah. players are creative. Oh, yeah. And they will find, <laughs> they'll break anything. They find that build and just bam, yep. right? And so they'll speed run them. Uh, so. I can't guarantee it because, mm -hmm. you know, the, the game has a complexity and the players have an ingenuity, but 
our goal is to make to an make entertaining it really boss seriously fight. difficult. Okay. And in uh, in the demo you saw, like they ran because mm -hmm. they're just not ready for yeah. it yet. Uh, I love those things so much because. You know, most games, a lot of games will have, like, a cool boss fight, and it'll be, like, a flat arena, right? Like, it's, like, you, you as, a, as a developer, you're like, oh, well, that's, that's easy, because it doesn't have to walk on anything. It doesn't have to have any oh, awareness right. of the yeah. world, right? So that can these, lead to some funny bugs, where it yeah, exactly. flies up like, into the air up, or yeah. something. So the really cool thing about these guys is they, they'll climb over the entire landscape, and for some reason, that just makes it feel so much more grounded I know. and scary. Yes, yeah. alien. Yes. And that's what we should yeah. get in these, yeah. these worlds. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, love man. it. Yeah. Um, one other thing that you guys have mm. added is I saw a bunch of weapons on the table. Yes, that's uh, right. Modular weapons. So that's in the right. last one, we got yeah. uh, being able to modular me melee. melee weapons. Yep. So what's going on with these weapons? Yep. Is these are our primaries, or what are they? They are secondaries. Secondaries. Yep. So they're, they're, we call them kit guns. Uh, uh, with a super creative name, and All right. uh, they are made of, of components that the Solaris, which are kind of like these, uh, you know, working class people that are kind of under the under the heel of the corpus oppression. They've kind of repurposed these things, and you can build your own weapons. Players, uh, you know, uh, love customization and Warframe. Oh, yeah. They love making their own builds. So we're still kind of trying to feel out how, what's the best way to give them that experience, mm -hmm. not just with a gun to put mods into it, but also change the, the gun appearance mm -hmm. and the whole feel of the gun. Uh, but and what about primary weapons? Are we going to see yeah, that? Is yeah, that exactly. Is... Stay tuned, right? TunnelCon <laughs> 4. Uh, but the really cool thing yeah. about that is, is uh, I think how they're going to react, uh, a lot of players will react really well to the modular pet system. Ah, right? Ah, so you, you can make your funny. own robot companion Hell and make yeah. them look goofy. Yeah. Make them the way you want. Yeah. But talking about players and, and, and opening up things to yeah. have them break the game, doesn't that seem a little daunting letting them make their own weapons because yep. you know they're yep. everybody's just going to min max and make that most ultimate yep. weapon and they're going to post the guide to but, say here's the yeah. <laughs> but speaking of min maxing yep. yep. uh, you got this really awesome new way to get around this larger world because you guys said it was like four times as big or just that's right much bigger yep. than yep. the last one. four times as big yeah and, that's about and it so yep. a new creative way to get around mm -hmm. and but by, by the way we can still do the arch uh, the arc wing yeah you can still do it yep. but yeah, the yep. But now we've got this new hoverboard, yes. which, hell yeah, give me a high five yeah. on that one. Because <laughs> yeah. that's Back to the Future yeah, exactly. and yeah, all that, that 80s going. loveliness. Yeah, and so yeah. uh, uh, my question to you, Min yeah. and is people are going to want to, I saw those sick tricks, yeah, man. Yeah, there's like, yeah. Are we going to get like a backflip? Yes, I, okay, yes. hell yeah. There is a backflip. But I was wondering, yeah. with the arc, arc wing, yeah. you could fire from it. Can you fire mm. from this hoverboard? I didn't see anybody do that. Right, right. Uh, we are still locked, horns locked, in a vicious debate in right. terms of whether you can fire from this thing. Uh -huh. uh, my side of the debate, you know, and again, it's a very democratic process how we build this game with our yeah, team. Yeah, different points of view. Yeah. you got to approach it that way absolutely, for every single absolutely. thing. Absolutely. And so my perspective is if you can shoot from it, from something that's going 200 miles an hour, you're never going to want to get, get off of it. So what we're trying to do is in integrate tricks yeah. that actually start the combat better for you, uh -huh. right? So if you ollie off that wall, come back and do the flip, and you have just that augmentation for it, the boss on the enemies, then you're off shooting, aim gliding, and then you land back on it and keep going, okay. right? It's, you know, it's going for the Michael J. Fox thing, yeah, right? Yeah. Where he, he ran can, up, remember, I, and he jumped back <laughs> yeah. on it. So I can see your point, never yeah. wanting to get off and kind yeah. of ruining the game in that yeah, sense. Yeah. But all right, well, well keep the, keep debating it. Yes, we'll, exactly. see. we'll see. But I don't know. It's land. cool anyway. It is cool. So as long as we can, you know, do those sick tricks yeah, and yeah. impress yeah. our friends. Yeah. But actually, can we customize those just like yes. uh, our other? Video? Absolutely. Actually, everything is customizable in this game. Yeah, you got it. Fashion frame. It's important. Okay, so I guess the biggest question then is when. When. And then when really? Yeah, you know what when, I mean? Yeah, <laughs> when I and then the really really when. Yeah, I, so uh, we're looking for Fortuna, which is our huge open world expansion. Uh, we're kind of aiming fall. Railjack, I mean, that's a million dollar question. I would love if we could drop, you know, a kind of early version for players to experience before the end of the year. That would so be that's, sick. That's the goal, and it'll end on a high note. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, all these different things. 2018 yeah. is going to be really exciting. It is going to be very exciting. That's what I love about you guys. Yeah, this is thank a you. Four five-year-old yeah, game right, at this right. point yeah. and you guys are constantly evolving adding new things and extending things that are already doing well so yeah man yeah that's the way to do oh, it guys. thank you so much thank you yep. so much yep. for speaking with us yep. and we'll see you guys on the next angry joe show bye guys all right one final question because i got this badass landing ship right here yeah, yeah, yeah. i've been wanting to ask it forever okay when are we going to see the angry frame my man
the most powerful Warframe? Oh, the most have you the heard angriest of this? Warframe. <laughs> I think we'd have to go straight to Prime with this Oh, one. yeah. We'd, we'd have to go Angry Prime. <laughs> angry yeah. Prime. I Whoa, love it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so right, much, Steve. You, hey, let me see you in this thing. Yeah. Get, get up in there. Get up in there. <laughs> see you guys later. And we all lift. And we're all adrift together.